Hello, today, I'll show you how to set up receiving new updates from Telegram via webhook using this template. If you want to set up a webhook from scratch, follow these instructions. Copy this template and deploy your scenario to ensure the webhook is active and ready to receive data. Next, go to the webhook settings, copy the production URL, and paste it into the variable. Then, open Botfather and save your bot token in a variable as well. Run the scenario and wait for it to complete. Check the status of the nodes. You should see a response confirming the successful creation of the webhook, along with its details. Now, let's send a test message by typing, hello. After refreshing the page, we can see that the message was received instantly. Congratulations! You have successfully set up a webhook for the Telegram trigger. That's all. Or, if you need to recreate an existing trigger as a webhook. If you don't have your bot token on hand, use one of the available authorizations or retrieve the token again from Botfather. Switch the route to the branch that deletes the old webhook and run the scenario. The HTTP request response will confirm that the webhook has been successfully deleted. Now, you can repeat the setup process from the beginning of the video, and your Telegram trigger will work via webhooks without any issues. Thank you for your attention.